Right, we're here at the uh, British Carpal Angling Show. I'm here with Roger Jackson. Yeah? That's me. There we go. Um, so, Roger, um, just explain what you've got um, here today. We sell border boats. Border boats are a piece of, uh, a most amazing piece of equipment. Um, best portable boat on the market you can find. They open up to a five foot beam. They come in four different length sizes, eight foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, 14 foot boat. And they all fold down to just four inches flat. We won't sell you a pump, a puncher repair kit, or a trailer. What we will sell you is a very, very good boat. It opens up a different world of access to water. You can get on the water with these boats. And when you get in the boats, you've got enough room to, to fish from them. They're beamy, they're deep. You sit in these boats, you don't sit on them. Um, they've been in production now for about 35 years. Um, every boat comes with a 10 year warranty. There's about 100,000 owners worldwide. And uh, I always say to people, try and find a second hand one. It's the one boat people buy and they keep. That's uh, a phrase I've heard before. If you, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. Is that, is that true with this? I think it probably is, yeah. But although, I, I mean, cost-wise, you pay about the same as you would for a similar sized aluminium boat. What you will get is something that's quite a bit lighter. And the other thing, if you do buy the similar size aluminium boat, you're going to need to buy a trailer to go with it. So you're looking at an additional 1,500 quid or so, just for a trailer, sometimes a bit more. Right, so um, have you got like a, a target audience for this? Is there someone that um, would benefit, um, say, uh, pike anglers? Is that, is that where you aim, get, like that kind of fishing? No, I, I think our biggest market, we've been doing this in the UK for about 13 years now, and our biggest market is undoubtedly uh, hunt and shoot and fishing type. People who want to put this on the top of the car, get off, get on the water, get on the water quickly, and get to some good water. Um, yeah, hunt and shoot and fishing type, that's our biggest market. Our next biggest market is caravan owners, motorhome owners. And we're also selling boats to people with, with some um, pretty big boats who want these as tenders. We've just done the London Boat Show. Uh, we had a very successful boat show in London. Um, and we're, we're shipping some boats out to some, some pretty big and expensive motor yachts. That sounds like a, a good, good venture for you, I think. Um, so transport wise, you me did mention something about a trailer, so this folds down to four inches um, flat um, and then what's, what's the, other, the size of it when it's like in the, the diameter of it um, and, and how um, easy is it to transport, what do, you, what do you need, do you need anything extra? No, I mean it, it'll fold down, if you've got a big, big van it'll go in the back of the van, most people carry them on the top of a, on the top of a car or a roof rack. Um, I don't know if you're going to scan your camera around but you might have a look over there and, and you'll see one over there um yeah so so that's the sort of thing when you carry it, it it's like carrying a surfboard in fact we do get a lot of people say to us i haven't seen these before but the thing about it is when you see them on the water they're a boat when you see them on the top of the car you think they're a surfboard so unless you unless you you, you know what they are you see the transition between one and the other then um you don't always recognize them as a porter boat it is, it is remarkably small in comparison to the boat here. Um, so, uh, is there is there anything uh, like in the development for like in the near future? Are you, are you um, bringing out anything new, or um, or is this it for now? No, there's, there is something else coming out. It's, big, it's called a crib, which is a collapsible rib. Okay, and what what they're doing, the manufacturers are taking the basic porter boat hull. And putting a skirt all the way around it. So what, what you end up with is a foldable portable rib and that should be coming out uh, later this year or early next year and we well we hope to get them over in the UK about that time. Um, one other thing I just want to go through is on here you've got um, the chair um, with the rods that's all included? That's an accessory that's called a ported deck and you can fit this in the front of the uh, of the porter boat and this gives you something get you to sit up a little bit higher. We sell a lot of these to lure fishermen, um, bass anglers, 
people who just want that, that bit of extra height so as to see out over the water and, uh, and they can swivel around in the seat. It's based very much on the, the American um, uh, bass boat idea. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a, uh, one, of the, one of the funniest uh, videos I've seen is where a guy, I think he's sitting on a chair similar to this and uh, he, uh, he gets his line stuck in the motor and he ends up snapping his rod. Have you ever seen that clip? I've seen that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're here with Roger, um, and he's just explained um, his uh, portable boat that is very impressively uh, small. As he said, it does look like a surfboard when it's quite uh, uh, flattened down. Um, so if you're in the market for something um, for the, the pike fishing or, or hunting or general fishing on, on a big water or on the open sea, um, is that is it is it recommended for the open sea? Is that um, yeah the, the the ten, twelve, and fourteen foot boats? Uh, yeah, you could use those in close inshore waters. We do have a customer um, the south of England who, who uses one for laying lobster pots and retrieving them. Yeah, there you go. So if you're a lobster fisherman, <laughs> here's your boat. <laughs>